Hi guys and welcome to Farming Simulator 2015 with me, T-Belly. Uh, I'm just going to do another course play tutorial, this time on seeding. Uh, this is a method I use. Uh, I don't know if it's the right method, but it's, uh, it's just handy for uh, some of the fields because not, they're not all square and uh, sometimes it's good to keep the vehicle and the uh, plant machinery inside the field so it's not crossing roads and stuff. Uh, and in this way, this, in this method, we use a headland, which is like a, a ring around the field, and then we uh, will sow inside the, the ring, uh, as you will see. Uh, so this is my method. I'm not saying it's the right method by any means, but uh, it works for me. And there it goes. So we need to set it on. We'll just we need to set on the fertilizer seed, which is the fourth one there. And what I do is I uncouple my trailer or the uh, cedar rather and I go into the field and I click that and it gives you an angle and what I do then I go from green to red you can switch that round in the settings let me have a look I'm not sure I think you can somewhere but not to worry so what I do is I start there and do start recording and just drive round, follow the outside edge with the tyres. You do get a slight bit of lossage on uh, this method on the corners, but uh, it's I don't even, I don't I don't mind it personally. It's just out of personal preference. It's just, uh, I mean, you can take it really nice and neat if you wanted and do it your own, own way. Like I say, I'm just whipping through it. So, this just uh, creates a headland for this uh, field. And what I'll do is I'll save it once it's. Uh, we go and what I'll do now is I will stop and I will save that I'll just put it on so you can view it let's show all and then we will save it as field 23 headland tutorial save it there so we can always use that now and what I tend to do then is I, I go into here I'll just turn my tractor around because it doesn't need to be there anymore and I go it's set to the right width which is the width of what uh, this cedar is if your cedar's shorter you just reduce it as you can see by the size it does it it actually shows you a graphic on the floor so you know uh, so like I say it's 6 metres we know that so what I do then is we want a headland on and we want to go oh that's where it's showing it is it you can have a clockwise or counterclockwise I don't mind really uh, so we'll just go clockwise on it and the starting corner this is important so the starting corner we're going to do it from this corner here which is the southwest which is down there and the direction we're going to go is north so hopefully it should go round in a circle like that or like that and then go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down in theory, that's what it should do uh, but what we need to do first is we need to generate that and there you go I'll just minimise that look there you go, it's drawn it all out for us so that's in theory is the way it should go so what we'll do is we'll save that as 23 seeding tutorial so we'll save that there right before we start it there's another thing we're going to do see ideally really thinking about it I should have started at the far corner you'll see why in a second because the seed is just here
inside it there it'd have come out there but it's not to worry so if we just do another course so we've already saved that one just see it in the list just to make sure 23 seeding tutorial yep yeah, that's okay so I'm going to delete that course now what I'm going to do now is start recording there and we'll go to here just put the uh, all on yeah that's right it's okay and just to there strangely enough that's all it needs to be and what we're going to do is we'll save that save as refill I'll tell you what let's do it 23 tutorial refill so what we do then is we save that one right I'm going to delete it from the list what we're going to do now is we've got 23 seeding tutorial so we'll load that one in which is that one there and then what we'll do is we want the refill we'll add that on the back to there as you can see it's linked it, it tied it in so what that means basically is if this seeder runs out it'll refill and then it'll come back on and it'll start where it left off now unfortunately I think it's going to have enough seeds to do it on this uh, this one and what you could do then is you could save that that full one as 23 seeding oh, 23 tutorial seeding and refill there you go save that one what we'll do we'll couple it up and then we will drive the course fingers crossed it should work yeah I think because I've got quite a lot of seed it should be okay but we'll see how it goes We go like I say, it should follow it should go all the way round the ring. I mean all the way around the field rather, which is in a ring, uh, and then go on the insides. Uh, so yeah, it's doing it. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna run out of seats just yet, unfortunately. Uh, but it, it does do it, it'll stop and it'll it'll find that path uh, and then go and refill. I might have to move that trailer that's actually in the way. It should be okay, but I would just do it as a as a fail safe rather, you know what I mean? I'd rather it not be there and just park it up out of the way. But then again you can make routes for that anyway. Or courses rather, you know, to do that. But like I say, you'll lose a bit on the corners there, but I'd it's negligible, I don't mind losing that a little bit if it keeps the old vehicle and everything inside there it's not going to hit a tree, it's not going to get stuck on a building I mean trust me on some of the fields 24 is a tricky one, 29 and 30 there's all trees around them, especially when you've got big stuff and you're spinning round you won't believe the difference this will make it's uh, really good like you see it's uh, it just follows the path all the way around just as we planned and the same method can be used for the uh, fertilizer as well obviously you would set the width differently because it's got a bigger spread so you would just uh, change it accordingly but it does the same process uh, as, as well with the the second path that you had on the end uh, you'll just do that but like I say it should be quite straightforward if you've got an easier way or a better way of doing it if I'm doing something wrong by all means tell me, let me know I look forward to uh, reading your comments 
uh, if you've got any questions by all means leave them below as well and I hope it helps you and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode see you later